Hail and well met everyone, Captain Deadeyes back with you today and we are playing World of Warcraft The Burning Crusade Classic. Now I am on my Night Elf Hunter, I have leveled him up to level 63 and I'm over in Zangar Marsh in Outland. Um, I'm working on some quests here, I've got quite a few quests left to do here, i got a few to turn in still uh, as well. Um, so we're going to try to work on that this morning. i got a couple to turn in over in Sporagor, uh, Sporagor, and I also need to run over to Centaurian, Centaurian Refuge and reload on arrows. i am used quite a few arrows um, as I've been leveling here. Uh, we're going to work on getting this guy to level 70 before Wrath launches, uh, Wrath Classic launches, and I hope you guys stick around for that because I'm probably going to be playing a, a Paladin through that as well. Uh, I am going to boost a Paladin to level 70 once Wrath launches. So... We will uh, we'll see how that goes. So for now, let's run over to uh, Scenarian Refuge. I'm going to load up on arrows uh, with the rep there. And of course, I just missed the elevator. And then we're going to run over to Sporgor, turn those in. And we're going to work on these um, Bloodscale Naga here in uh, next to Marsh, -like, Marsh Light Lake. Uh, once we finish in Zangar Marsh, I'll probably move over to Terracar. That's kind of what I'm thinking um, because I'm running out of quests here. Um, I also have, looks like I have some quests in the main bog here, the main water area. All right, there's the elevator. And then I've got lots of quests in Tarot Car, as you can see. So we'll probably head over there next. That's kind of the plan. Hope everyone is doing well today. It's been a while since I played Wrath Classic. I keep saying Wrath Classic because I know it's coming and I'm super excited for that. But uh, it's been a while since I played Classic, so I appreciate you guys joining me. Um, the experience buff is still on Joyous Journeys. I wish, I wish, wish, wish they had left the experience buff on Shadowlands, but they took that away from us. Go figure. And they've said they have no plans of bringing it back. I don't know why. To me, it was a complete waste. Why not just leave it active until Dragonflight launches? Because everyone is tired of Shadowlands content and ready for something new, especially now that they're seeing all the content coming out with the alpha. Why not give us that XP buff? I, I don't, I don't understand it. So anyways, um, since this will be active until Wrath launches at the end of September, I thought we'll play that. Uh, let's play pretty much classic until Wrath launches. So, um, yep, that's the plan. We may switch over to some other characters occasionally, but for right now, we're going to play our Hunter. Let's see, is this guy? I think he has the arrows. Yep, he does. I don't have a ton of rep with uh, with Zenarian Refuge yet, but um, I eventually want to get there for the Warden's arrows. That would be nice. But again, I, I may or may not do that since I'm a little leveling through here so let's see i need one four five six seven there we go all right so now we're reloaded on arrows and we can run over to sporagar so i think i'll just run there on the path it takes a while to get there and there's no flight point nearby i don't feel like fighting everything along the way Sorry if I heard that clinking there. I'm drinking some iced coffee this morning. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, I am super looking forward to Wrath Classic. It's one of my favorite times in WoW. Um, it was the first time I ever really focused on Rip. <clears throat> Excuse me. And grinding rep, uh, I remember hitting max level with uh, Sons of Hodir was my first rep in that I leveled up on any character, and that was on my pal dwarf paladin uh, back in uh, Wrath of, I guess, Vanilla Wrath. And uh, yeah, that was. It took me a while to do dailies and everything, and doing the same thing over and over. But it was, it was so satisfying when I actually, uh, you know, maxed out rep with, with the Sons of Hodir. And uh, then I worked on some other ones as well, but that was the first one I remember, and that's the one I focused on the most. So. It was that was fun. Don't know if I'll be playing, uh, doing a lot of rep grinding in, in Wrath uh, Classic. We'll see what happens. Um, but I'm definitely running a Paladin. I know that much for sure um, because Paladins in Wrath were godlike. And um, at the time, I didn't really understand that, didn't really know that. But uh, looking back and reading a lot uh, leading up to Wrath Classic, I am super looking forward to playing Paladin again uh, through that content. 
um, especially just because of the story of Arthas and you know the fallen paladin and and, and everything. Um, it was it was awesome. Now the one thing I did not do in in Wrath Vanilla was raid. Uh, I did not raid ICC. I did not do any type of raids at that time. I didn't actually really raid until LFR came out in um, in Mists. But I did do a couple of Molten Core runs in Vanilla with a guild that I was with at the time. Uh, I was not geared for it. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, I was ret spec and they wanted me to heal. I don't know why. Um, so they threw me in in uh in holy spec and, and wanted me to respec and go in there and try that and that went horribly uh did that too i did two runs with them uh, did not kill ragnaros um at the time we i think we made it to um major domo and uh, we did not make it all the way over to rag uh, that i can remember maybe that was uh, that was back in 2005 ish six ish um so that was <laughs> it's been a while and i've slept since then so i don't remember everything exactly um Either way, uh, all that say all that to be said. I did not raid in Wrath, um, and uh, I am looking forward to raiding in Wrath Classic. So I hope to find a guild. Um, the guild that I'm in here now, um, I, again, I haven't played much uh, on this character, um, so I'm not really involved in the guild at all. Um, looks like there, you know, quite a few members, 275 members. So hopefully that maybe you know some will join us along the way. We'll see what happens. Or maybe I'll find a new guild that does want to raid. I would like to run ICC. Um, I, I've ran it solo uh, a lot, uh, trying to farm um, Invincible, but I uh, I just never really ran it on a level character. So, okay, let's turn these quests in here. <clears throat> I'm not going to read the quest text uh, in this one because I just I just want to level, and uh, we're going to focus on that. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Okay, now over to Sporagar. Oh, wrong way. Sure, I'll take a little cap. Uh, one thing I did not do, I'll tell you about my spec here in a moment. I am running primarily uh, Beastmaster um, with some uh, Marksman. Uh, it's kind of, a, kind of a mixture between the two. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. Man, I've forgotten how to play this guy. It's been a while. All right, there we go. It has definitely been a while. Um, yeah, so I'm running uh, primarily Beast Mastery down to uh, get Bestial Wrath, and then I'm putting everything else into Marksmanship to level level that up. Uh, just gives me a little more power when I'm out and about. I've been playing so much Shadowlands lately that I've just I'm, I'm so focused on Shadowlands Hunter and not Classic Hunter. I have to watch my mana. Because that's one thing that um, is so much different now. Um, that instead of focus, they have mana and vanilla. So I have to watch that. They're classic. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So we got quest turn here. There we go. And I've got one to turn in inside here. Um, trinket restore 200 health when they kill a target they experience restore 200 mass to mana there we go alright yep because I hurt on mana more than anything okay so now we're going to go work on the naga over here the uh, ogres here and then I need to go in the water here I really don't look forward to doing that but I need to do that do have a dungeon quest for Coilfang Reservoir. Uh, I was running that with a group uh, a while back, and it ended up being a fail group, a fail pug, and it just did not go well. So I have not gone back there. Um, that's why I only have a couple of these guys that I found. I 
Maybe we'll go back and do that at a later time. <clears throat> we'll see. For now, I'm just going to focus on soloing. Okay. Let's see. I need the Enchantress. Actually, let's pull this guy first. And go. Now, how did I pull that guy over here? How did that happen? Vanilla and classic were a lot of a lot of auto shooting. <laughs> we're gonna focus on this one. Okay. Wanna use Viper Sting to pull her during her mana. Ouch, stop using that. Focus on my pet. Oh come on. Jeez, I did not see that. I think I got her. Yep. Oop, I meant to buy more water and I forgot. Oh well, hopefully it'll be okay. I may have enough to get by. If not, I may have to make a run back to town. And what sucks is the uh, the primary town here is Telrador, but they do not have a vendor there for water. Um, it's really annoying, so I have to go all the way either to Honor Hold or Shatrath in order to get water. S super annoying. Oh yeah, I filed a report against a guy that was um, in that in that dungeon group I was talking about that pug earlier. He was super toxic, and. Um, Yep, I filed a report the last time I played against him. <clears throat> I can't even remember his name now, but yeah, he was he was bad. Oops. Okay, let's see. I don't need the slaves. Those are annoying that those guys pull every time, no matter what you do. Yep, see, here he comes again. Same one. Leave me alone. What the heck? Why are you attacking me? I must have hit him with a multi shot or something. I didn't realize it. I have an explosive trap. I meant to use the militia, but that's okay. Should be able to take this guy down, no problem. One thing I love about Burning Crusade, and they change, they change it later as well, is they reduce the range required for ranged weapons. So they can be within uh, five feet of you. Um, then you, can, if they're beyond five feet of you, you can use melee weapons. I mean, you can use ranged weapons. If they're within five feet, you have to use melee. In vanilla, they I think it was ten feet or twenty feet. It was a lot. <clears throat> so they had to be farther away from you before you could use ranged weapons, and it was really annoying. It allows it to be much closer, and then later they they take that away completely, so you can use ranged weapons at point blank, and that was so much better. <clears throat> I forgot to feed my pet. A pet's named after is named Jinxie from um, like Jinxie Cat from uh, Meet the Parents. I don't know why. Uh, when I created him, I just. I was like, yeah, that's what I want to use. All right, now I'll go get him. Oh, whoop, wrong one. That's not what I wanted. Okay, I guess she's going to throw avoid my stun. Oh, well, not 
too bad. Okay. Um, let's see. Go over here and pull this guy. Actually, I, I kind of want to take those slaves out so they don't bother me. I think I'll do that. I'm just going to make my way around the outside here. comes a pat, of course. Oh, I think the slave called him over. That was the problem. <clears throat> I think the slave called the pat over. And we're good. I didn't have to use men pat. Nice. Yeah, I think we're going to go buy more water, guys. And I apologize. I meant to grab some before I left town, and I just completely forgot. Whoops, I did not mean to stand up there. Um, yep, yeah, let's go do that before it go any, go any farther, because I know I'm going to need it. Actually, let's just... Let's just hearth, and then instead of running all the way back over there, because I, in order to get to a flight path, I have to go back through... All the ogres. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy does not have any water. Browse at your leisure. May you find nope. what you seek. Yep, so he has no water. I do not see this alchemy supply up here. Let's see if you have any water. I doubt it. Embrace you. Nope. Be kind to those less One wishes to you. Nope. Reagents. I'm almost positive there's not a water vendor here, which is stupidly annoying. It's the primary alliance base here in Zangar Marsh, but there's no vendor for water. Or somewhere, somebody else in the end here that I'm not aware of. Nope. All right, we'll run over to Honor Hold um, and get some water, <clears throat> and then we'll come back. So, my bad, guys. I probably could have grabbed some in. Let's go to Temple of Telemann. Let's see if there's somebody there that has water. Um, I don't know why the innkeeper here doesn't sell water. I should have described it when I went to Sonorian Refuge. I meant to do that. Just forgot. Uh, but we'll grab some water and then uh, maybe grab some more food as well. So we're stocked up because my pet eats the venison as well. So I want to make sure I have plenty of that. Uh, my add-ons, I'm using uh, Domino's for my um, hot bars. I'm using, uh, let's see, what's this one called? I've already forgotten. Do, do, do. I have Altaholic for all my alts. I'm using Atlas for my map. Uh, I have Atlas loot for, you know, searching loot for dungeons and whatnot. Uh, I'm, using, uh, I'm using Bagnon uh, to bring all my bags together so it's one big bag. Um, I hate having the individual bags. It's so annoying. Let's see. I'm using, like I said, I'm using Details for my damage meter. I'm using Dominoes for hot bar. Uh, I have Gather Mate, so... When I gather, um, when I gather, uh, you know, herbs and stuff on the map, it shows up and, and a location of those herbs or, or mining or whatever. So, for example, in Zangar Marsh, I can see all of the glow caps that I picked up. It shows me where those are. It shows me like chests and things like that. <clears throat> Super handy. Um, let's see. I have get the fuck out, which is basically. Uh, it gives you an audible alarm if you're standing in the poop and you need to get out of the way um, of something on the ground or whatnot. Uh, I have a Leetrix maps. It gives me enhanced maps, um, as you just saw there. Um, uh, I have method raid tools for if I do raiding, but I'm not really doing raiding. Um, the best 
classic quest helper alone is questy by far um it, it shows me where all the quests are it allows me to track them as well which is so nice um i had shadowed oh shadow frames that's what it's called this is called shadow frames um so it gives me a shadow frame around my character so it just kind of makes a box here much better better than the old wow one uh, the the uh, vanilla one, uh, Titan panel is up here at the top. It just kind of gives me a, a basic, uh, you know, quick rundown of how much gold and stuff I have on all my characters and whatnot. Weak auras, uh, it's for you know buffs and, and um, uh, debuffs and triggers and things like that. And then deadly boss mobs. Uh, of course, you have to have deadly boss mobs for any dungeon you're running. So super handy. So that's all the uh, add-ons I'm running right now. All right, hopefully there's a water vendor here. Uh, yeah, he does have it. All right, 65, I get the next water. So let's see, two, three, four. I try to do two stacks. And then same with the uh, meat. There we go. All right, so that should do us a while. Actually, I know it. I don't, since we're going to be out and about, let's do three stacks just to make sure. Welcome, browse at your leisure. And I'll sell some junk that I don't need. 12 hours cooldown. Interesting. I don't know what that is. BOE. Is that a little BOE? Let's see. That's not. Where's that other one? Oh, that's not either. That one is. Okay. I'll put that on the auction house along with this mode of life and this this guy here. All right, cool. So let's do that. I do have a potion of underwater breathing. Um, I'll probably use that whenever we go into the water uh, to do these guys. The Naru have not forgotten us. Okay, there we go. All right. So again, guys, I apologize. That took a little out of our uh, out of our morning there, um, but it's something we absolutely definitely need in, in vanilla is lots of food and lots of drinks. So if you're playing a, ma a mana character, pretty much anything but rogue or warrior. So uh, I am a leather worker on this character and a skinning. Uh, I think skinning. Is that what I am? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm herbs and skinning. Herbs and alchemy. Oh, I, did, I don't remember doing alchemy. I apologize. <laughs> it's been a while. I don't do crafting very much in, in classic. Uh, but yeah, that... Oh, yeah, that... Yes, yes, yes. That makes sense. Because on my main paladin back in vanilla, I was alchemy. And I thought, why don't I do alchemy on this guy for the mm -hmm. for the potions? So, yeah. Uh, but as you can tell, I haven't leveled it at all. It's level 98. So, yeah. I haven't done much at all. And my first aid is low as well, um, which I don't know why I didn't level that. Um, I just didn't. So I think primarily the reason I didn't run, I did not level first aid, is because I sent all of my cloth to my uh, mage, who is a tailor, uh, and I was trying to make bags for all my characters. So, yep. Okay, now uh, let's see. actually let's go back over here because. I need to fly farther over. I didn't fly to the right you. place. May your be fly to Ourobor Harborage. That gets me closer to the ogres. So I can go ahead and work on the ogres, and then I'll work my way down to the Naga again. Bring me a shrubbery. Okay, now we're back on it. So. 
let's see. Come on, Jinxie. Marticar. All right, so we need mushroom samples from these ogres. Really? I always forget that in vanilla or in classic, I need to let my pet attack first so I can... He can grab the aggro. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I might as well level up my swords. I'm at 305 out of 315. So, about 10 behind on swords. That'll pull the other guy on the other side of that rock. Nope. Good. It's a good combo. If you do intimidation to stun them and then you hit them with steady shot, it does uh, 175 additional damage against dazed targets. It's a good combo. And the only reason I have steady shot, uh, I debated on. Um, Disregard. It's aim shot. That's what I was thinking of. I was thinking steady shot was the talent, but it's aim shot. Now, I do like aim shot because it does quite a bit of damage. Uh, yeah, 600 and then it reduces healing. So that's always nice. It's good for dungeons. I think I'll work on my swords here a little bit. Two out of fifteen. Yay. It's gonna take a while. Good old vanilla. Takes forever to get what you need. Let's throw down a trap this time. Cause I know he's gonna probably come over here once I start. Yep, see here he comes already. Want to waste food? I don't have that much health to uh, recover. I've already knocked out the ogre quest over over here uh, on the island or this floating rock, so um, I will just focus on getting these guys and these mushroom samples. Okay, let's go. Kind of work way on the outside here, I think. Why is Growl turned off? No wonder I'm pulling all the aggro. There we go. Must have been from my dungeon run. I knew something was weird. Like, how do I keep grabbing all this aggro? Excellent. Come on, mushroom samples. Oh yes, much better. Oh, 
Is that a rare? No. Just a boss. Uh, okay. Gonna let my pet grab a little bit of the aggro there before I unleash. Nope. Stay over there. Let's do this. Let's track. Um, I think that's humanoids. Yeah. So now we can see where these guys are. I don't want to get ambushed here by. Are they together? Right, let's see if I can pull this guy without pulling that other guy. Pull that shaman as he walks away. Oops. I ran out of mana doing that. Oh well. Should be fine here. Let me see, what level is Blade's Edge? I think it's... Alright, so it's 65 to 70. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll go to Terra Card next, make it a little bit easier. They're, uh, you know, starting up here um, at this, you know, path that leads from Hellfire. Um, down, there's some, uh, there's this quest right here. Um, I think that's where I want to go next. And then there's also the quest um, here in this area. What is this? Um, Alarian Stronghold. Yeah, there's some quests there as well. So, um, so yeah, I think I'm going to make my way down. Actually, I already had the a flight path in Shatrath. So I'll go there, and then I'll come out here to Sonarian Thick. And I know there's quests up here, and there's some quests down in here, and in this uh, Turum here. And then we'll go to Alarian Stronghold. Um, just to make it a little bit easier, rather than going directly to a level 65 area, we'll focus on that first, I think. Knock out the quest there. And then we'll, we'll bounce around a bit. Oops. That works, though. Huh, that was strange. I cast concussive shot and then aim a uh, steady shot and then it didn't, uh... Huh. Feels like it was already off. Oh, well. That guy was actually easier than the other warriors. Kind of surprising. Just auto shot this guy down because I don't want to waste mana. It's not that hard. like his health paused and then all of a sudden he was dead. I don't know if that was lag. I'm not sure what happened there. Oops. Keep forgetting to hit these guys with uh with Viper Sting versus Serpent Sting. You know Viper uh, same thing as a serpent. A viper is a serpent. That seems kind of kind of too do a hill pet. All right, men pet. All right, go get him. Yeah, shoot at me! Don't shoot at my pet. There you go. Let him kill you in the process.
The only reason I'm collecting glow caps is so I can turn them in in Sporagar. Not that I really want the rep, um, but uh, they do. Once you get the rep, it does give you, I think, it does give you a certain percentage of rep for every like 10 you turn in uh, or something to that effect. So that's the only reason I'm collecting them when I when I see them around. Oh, wow. My tag on. Aim shot missed. That wasn't good. It's a cast time. 1.5. <laughs> Dang it, I'm out of mana again. Again, that's the worst thing about uh, Hunters in, in Vanilla all the way up through, I think it was Kata when they changed it over um, to Focus. And it just, it's annoying. <laughs> Why you have to use mana for shots. Why not energy? Same as the Rogue. Like, I, I don't know. So as you saw earlier in my last video of uh, my characters, I do have a level 47 rogue, I believe, or 45 rogue. Um, he was my original um, classic character when, it, when when WoW Classic first launched. He was the first character I played. I played him with a group of guys, um, a group of friends that were they're playing at the time. Now all of those have stopped playing. <laughs> so um, unfortunately, but... Um, yeah, I wanted to level a rogue to play with those guys, and then uh, once they all quit, I kind of gave up on him. So he is sitting at 45 right now, and I haven't done much with him since. Uh, I've really focused on my hunter because hunter is probably the easiest soloing class in in classic and vanilla. So uh, that's really why I went hunter. Glow cap over here. All right, let's see. So we have eight out of 15 of these. I could have looked right there as well. We have five and two thirds bars to go until we hit 64. Get some new abilities at 64, so I'll have to go train those. Thought about hitting with another uh, aim shot, and I thought, nah, I'm gonna wait. See, shamans over there, shaman there. Shamans are easy, pretty easy to take down. Don't really want to kill that guy, the the boss guy. I may. We'll see. Love slow drop rates. It takes forever. Eight out of fifteen. I mean, I've been I've killed what four or five since uh, I last checked, and it's or maybe three. Anyways, just takes forever.
Excellent. Okay. Now, there's nine. Pull two. Yeah, we should be fine. Even though I pop rapid shot, I didn't really do much there. I just, you know, give me a quick little uh, boost of speed so I could. Some more shots out. So I pulled two. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to run over here and kind of hide by this mushroom really quick. I'm going to go into Shadow Meld. And then I am going to actually go to run and grab uh, another cup of coffee really quick. Um, because I need my go-go juice to keep going this morning. Uh, guys, stick around. I'll be back in less than two minutes, or around two minutes, and uh, I appreciate it. So I'll be right back. Alright everyone, we are back and ready for more hunter action. Good, I'm glad we didn't get attacked. I mean, my pet would have protected me either way, but now I'm trying to move on. Alright, more ogres. Here we go. Nope. Just stay over there. Appreciate everyone sticking around this morning. Oops. 
Ah, uh, dang it. That was the wrong attack. I meant to stun him, not go feign death. Because he was casting a heal. I did not want that. Let's grab 11 mushrooms now. Viper Sting is actually really good because it, it does take a majority of their mana, especially if they're casting. Um, so as you can tell, I mean, it's dropping quick, which is really, really nice. Oh, where'd you come from? Now, we'll find death. Ha ha. I can't tell if he got that lightning bolt off or not. Yep, looks like he did. Oh, well. I didn't even see that pack coming around there. Okay. Um, yeah, let's drink a little bit before we move on. Eleven. I yeah, definitely want to drop those things on the auction house. Wrong sting. This is after counterattack can only be formed after can be formed after you dodge. Okay. Couldn't remember if it was if it was when I dodged or when they dodged. And that makes so much more sense why it's called counterattack, because they attack me, I dodge it, and then I attack them. That that yeah, that makes so much sense. Got a scroll of agility. I'll use that. Where'd it go? Oh, I already have one in my inventory and didn't even realize it. Let's see. Pull this guy next. Ah, oh, come on now. Get a little too over eager with my. Attacks.
Oh, dang it, wrong attack. I hit him with concussive shot instead of uh, steady. I was trying to back up and hit him with a steady since he was stunned. I think if I wait till after he uh, hits Growl a second time, then I can uh, hit my uh, Arcane Shot, and that should help alleviate uh, the aggro a little bit. Yeah, that seemed to work better. So, Aim Shot, Serpent Shot, and then for Serpent Sting, and there's that. So, I'll hit him with that. I think that works better. So yeah, after he cast uh, Growl a second time to pull a little bit more of that aggro, uh, then I hit him with the uh, the arcane shot, so as not to pull the aggro so quickly. Oops. Ah, crap. I was hoping I'd feign before he... Ah, oh, dang it. And he healed himself. That did not go according to plan. Whoa, what the heck? Sorry, hit the wrong key there. Um, 23%. Yeah, I may as well. Go ahead. Should be okay. Ah, uh, dang it. Wrong one. I just did exactly what I said I wasn't going to do, and that was hit Arcane first. Wow, we've already gone through two stacks of arrows. Technically three stacks of arrows, and then some. Alright, yeah, let's drink a little bit. Okay, uh, we need one more mushroom, so that's good. We're getting close to that, and then uh, we'll go over here and work on the uh, Naga. I think the Naga are a little bit harder than these guys. Plus, they run. These guys don't run. And they have the slaves, which is super annoying. Okay, that's it. Actually, let's see. Where do I turn this in? Do I turn it in over here? I thought I did. At Scenarian Watch Post. Oh. Oh, it's down there. It's her. Okay. Um, I tell you what, guys. I am trying to keep my videos um, to anywhere between forty-five minutes and an hour, um, just to save you guys from watching, you know, an hour and a half of my gameplay or, or longer. So I am going to go turn this quest in really quick, and then I'm going to probably hop off uh, for the morning because uh, I want to, um, you know come back and do this later uh and i want to keep my videos relatively short so we're coming up on an hour now uh, i don't really want to go much more than that so uh, i'm gonna go turn this in and then we will um be back another day and we'll work on these uh we'll work on these naga and then move on over to tarot car
I know we didn't do a whole lot this morning, guys, and I apologize. I did not plan on going to run and get water. Um, that was not on my agenda this morning. I wanted to knock out both of these quests this morning, but we'll, we'll knock them out another time. Okay. All right. So we have to gain ten box. Or gather ten boxes of mushrooms now and return them to Washer Lisa. All right. So, oh, we have to go back up here and do more mushrooms on this island. Okay. We'll do that um, again next time. I'll work on the naga and those mushroom boxes, and then we'll go from there. Guys, I really appreciate you joining me this morning. I'm actually going to run back over to uh, Telrador and uh, log out there so I'm in an inn, or uh, I may run back up here to Oper or Harbridge. haven't decided yet, but my heart's not back up yet, so I'm going to have to run, and I don't want you guys to stick around for that. So um, we'll see you back in one of those two places next time. I appreciate you joining me um, today, and I hope everyone has a great day. If you like the video, please like it below. Um, if you want to see more of my videos, more of my content as it uh, evolves, and uh, you guys stick along, uh, for the ride, please subscribe to the channel. It would be really appreciative and uh, we'll grow together. Thanks for everything. We'll see you next time.